Commander Panpiper here. Field scientist for Canon. I'm usually out here. Don't expect anything too well presented and polished up with all links and everything. I'm out here just to gather data, do my research, and I'm mainly focused on the barnacles. I'm here to give a quick round up on what I do now on the brain trees, as they're called. There was no better name for them. I think I coined the phrase and basic the guardian trees, we'll call them that. For want of a better word. They do appear in the ejector craters. But let's jump down and get to show you exactly if you haven't seen what one is, I'll show you what they are. They exist preliminarily presumed in Guardian areas or nearby to Guardian ruins, they're in ejector craters. Let's give you a quick rundown what I mean by that if you don't know. Uh, they are also confirmed on the snowy ones, ice worlds, the rocky ice as well. As long as there is volcanism, there must be volcanism. Here, silica vapour doesn't matter too much on the size, might do on the very large worlds. Ongoing research. It's in a garden area here. There's one, you can see, small, you can see the ejector lines coming out of it. That's a large one, ejector lines coming out of it, I believe that's the one I'm going down to. You can see it far easier in orbital cruise, where were you? Straight below me there. They will appear as blue poi, you can't always guarantee they are going to appear as blue poi when you're in glide mode. Occasionally they do, not always. Same when you're searching for fume rolls and such. But, they always appear in the middle of these. Whether it's Panzerpamia, they're firing these down, whether the Guardian related directly. They are predictable, they're not natural in their placement. So, there we go, I'll aim right for the middle, I'm going to pull up a little bit, so I want to fly over that. My radar's zoomed out, so hopefully we should see a large boy and then shrink to a small material point boy. Would be an outcrop anywhere else, but if it's near, there we are, if it's near a Guardian area, and it's in the temp range with organism. You got a very, very high chance. Literally, if it's a system with them and it's in Guardian areas or near, or that's ongoing at the moment. I'll get onto that in a bit. They do seem to be populous in certain areas. They will replace the thing, and you'll have a little tree site. That's roughly around the middle. I've got the planet center, so nice directly below me. Let's take it down. They are rather loud. When you're below 500 meters, you will hear them. When you're about 800 meters, you'll see them. If it was an outcrop, you wouldn't see it unless you were very close and you see the different shiny color, different color rock. Well, I can hear them. Where the hell are they? There, I can see splotches. These are the guardian trees. They all look the same. They do have uh, material resources, same as something I did earlier. Four different varieties, same as you get on the bark mounds, responding to the different rarity groups you will have on this planet. I'm not going to jump in the SRV and demonstrate that, but if it was, it will be the common ones will be sulfur, carbon, nickel in the basic stuff, chromium, manganese, and arsenic. There were coarse depths. The puff sacks are gone, and the feeling extracts are the very rare ones, probably for the mercury. Can't remember exactly. It's not important for this. It's more about what I do now on the brain trees. Right, let's get out of here because it's gone. Oh, no, got damn noisy. Whether they're material resources or similar to the function that the Thargoids use barnacles for, unknown. But they're very prevalent. Someone pointed out in the thread. They're both very prevalent in Guardian systems and nearby Guardian systems. I did experiments in some stages, possibly up to 60 light years or more from a Guardian ruined system. So, it might not be in the system, it'll be nearby. There was one or two systems that I knew of in the early days that didn't have any volcanic planets, so it wouldn't have any trees. If there were volcanic planets, 
even moons of gas giants in that temp range, they would take up every occupied space, every ejector crater in 95% of the cases. Taken samples on ones with 12 to 14 ejector craters, 13 out of 14 would have them. So literally you check two, you can confirm it or not in a, for an entire system. If you're on one, they're on all. Right, let's give you a quick overview of the history. When we first found them, it's shortly after... Where's Meany? Good place to start. Meany, got the mission for Guardian Ruins. First one located by Exteth in this region here. Didn't really find the trees there because they're not in the system. Also refer to the last outpost. Come back to that. <laughs> Later on, I haven't got all the bookmarks here for the Guardian sites due to the fact that uh, you don't get enough bookmarks. I had to delete many of them. We had far too many Guardian sites anyway, and I needed them for the brain tree studies. For when I did do that, first one, then here roughly XOP. I think that's one of the sites. There were another two here referred to by Melville or what these ones here. They do extend all the way, as you can see, out. Those two are knotted. Up to at least here, this is just around the Regor sector. Not sure if that's the one someone's up down that system, but we're not going to bother them. That's probably around where the Megaship City is, where Melville's end up. So, we presume they did come out all this way. It tend to be a long line to refer to a Guardian bubble. If it's a bubble, it's very long lined, I think. I think there's either more to it than we know, or more to it than we searched. They were common in those areas, the Guardian Ruins, never did find any outside. I did venture finding trees all around this area, slightly north. Nothing when we come back to... There's the first one next, so that's it. What it was referred to as Melvis of the Last Ruin, or the Last Outpost. Didn't find any trees in the system, but I did find some nearby. It's like they, whether they used some for energy or not, they gave up by that time, or they stopped populating. There was one near here, can't remember which. It was about 45 light years, I remember, from that system, so there were trees nearby, but nothing west. North of there, I think there were several explorations just to this region. Stopped finding them. The Guardian sites did go very far east. Don't know how far east with all the newer sites. They went to hundreds after that. Never did explore east. South, though, was interesting. Mainly I found a few along the line here. Let's zoom out to a better perspective. There, there, there. I found them all the way up here, nearby the Guardian Ruins. Then I found a couple off to the side around here, and then down to this region called the Rego. They shouldn't be here. So I started thinking, would they be an indicator there is a Guardian Ruin? So far, along all the known Guardian Ruins, we found trees. Then, if we go to Scow Day, that was the next little discovery. Scow... Ah, let me spell it right. Scow... Ah, let me just zoom to it. That probably a bit easier. There we go. Scowdy. There was a Guardian Ruins located there. It was nearby one of the refueling stations on the stops to Colony. I think someone was exploring. And then with the new addition of the 1000 LS range scanner, somebody found ruins here. I can't remember which one it was. Let me check which one's populated. And I don't know which one's the refueling station and the ruins. Right, that's got Allegiance, so that's more than likely got the refueling station in and the outpost, so this will be the ruin system. And uh, I believe Commander Iriko might have been him. Did venture out there to confirm, would we find trees there? And I believe he found at least a three or four sites within about 50, 60 light years of that system. Confirming there is sort of a link to the Guardian ruins. So, I really started to persist after that with these ones I stumble across in Rego, and I went a bit mental trying to actually get an answer. There should have been a ruin system. In the end, I really gave up. I uh, is bigger than the Pleiades. It's exceedingly dense in star density compared to the Pleiades and things. When you look at the number of systems, it's about 120 light-year bubble all of these systems. 
and there's trees wherever you I gave up listing coordinates I took screenshots if this book mart is confirmed trees significant waypoints 164 G dot Canis Majoris was the lowest I found the highest significant other named one Faust 538 there's a few others nearby if I jump down to here if you do want to snap the names the Virgo ones right there's a hell of a lot of them they're all got confirmed trees in no doubt there's more I'll give you a rough idea how many systems of search around here you're not going to get them everywhere because there has to be a viable planet in the right temperature range with volcanism gas giant moons the same thing so it's quite a star dense but when I get to the center of this area I'm hoping to triangulate a system within this entire bubble area and I didn't really find anything I checked all the stars within that range even the distant stars are looking for a viable guide and we're in under a thousand LS now, let's... now if I switch to search systems you get a rough idea of this search that is all the systems I did search all the ones bookmarked uh, so I've given it a thorough search, I can almost confirm I didn't find a Guardian Ruin, so it's got me thinking I gave up on this, put it on the back burner until we came out to Cetis or the CT and uh, found Melville there, found War Trees got my interest back up and I was wondering then let's go back to Gal Map, they're all around the Rego that's older, so it always leaded up to the Coal 70 Permit Wall that was the next idea and I found them getting closer so I was venturing out that way I'm heading off to the witch head and I still haven't made it there I've got to check on some goddamn barnacles but no distracted by more puzzles and mysteries so where's the last one I was heading there and this is a bit for uh, quite a bit lower yeah you can see from below the Rego sector so significant and this is still quite a long way from the Guardian ruins here down to hip 29592 found trees here while I was just going on I saw a name system you know it's not your regular one somebody who claimed the star left the system I'm gonna mop it up yes it's nice here we go it will be tagged by me which one did I find it on this check it was 459 that will happen I don't know if I even went far past that I checked a few yeah, I scanned the old system. There would have been not. Ah, uh, yeah. Th there would have been there. Silica, right temperature. There would be there. There would be there. And there. Clocked him in here anyway. So I was like, damn, that's a hell of a lot further from the old site up there. And heading to the Witchhead. I'm near the Coal 70 sector though, that where the unknown probe octal code was supposed to point to this little system, FNYC 221-3. And that wasn't that far. So, I think you'll believe there's 300 light years from there, and that's kind of weird. I'm thinking, it's like a giant forest, I'm imagining, if that's the Guardian area looking down there. We've got this entire block here. It's like a giant forest between them, barricades. Do they go all the way up there, blocking around the permit wall? So I was trying to get closer. And then I've got at least two systems here, which are literally on the wall. of You can't get any further east of here, because it's called 70. That one, this is the closest one that I'm now parked at. That's as close as I can get before we got called 70 and 110 light years from whatever the octal code probe and Coal 70 permit is hiding. So, who knows if there are Thargoids there, maybe this is a giant Thargoid forest encroached onto the Guardian territory long ago, but looking at the size of the spread, we've got a tiny patch in Scaldi. Where was Eta Karina? Give a quick... There's trees here. When those are located, people confirmed the trees there, so we got them here. We got them literally all there. 
it's a vast, vast area. Why? It doesn't go west into the human bubble that I've checked as quite reasonably a lot. It doesn't go near the Pleiades that I've checked, or to the Witch Head. Just near this, this is the nearest to the Witch Head and the Cold 70 I've found though, right on the wall of the Cold 70. What do you make of that? I don't know what I make of it, I don't know, but I need to get back to Barnacles, but hopefully giving you an idea of what these little things do, or where to find them. It's not just in the type area. Mad Raptor, don't try and log every side the coordinates. For getting the idea, the spread I think is the best. They're on a vast, vast scale. Next plan I'm gonna do, come back here, I might look around, try and find what sites that are. Ah, let's pull away from these littles. Trying to find sites that are maybe 100, 150 light years apart. What I might do is follow the Cold 70 wall. Guardians gone there, I presume they've gone east. Keep going east. Do they go all the way down the spiral arm? How far do they stand? Maybe all of the gap between the arms. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Hopefully not too droning on, but if you're looking for brain trees, or trying to find out more in this, hopefully this is the most people know on it. If it helps, someone's going to take up the mantle and do more research on it, if they can put it into the 3D map we have of the ruins, and the spread of the systems that are located, that could be really useful. Anyway, leave you to it. Pan Piper, checking out.